Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to explain how to reach the number 960 in the chess game, Chess 960. Why do we call it Chess 960? How do you get to 960 positions? So the way I structured it is we're going to first place the bishops, then we're going to place the queen, then the knights, and then the king and the rook. King and the rooks. So let's talk about it. So in this first position here, you can see that the bishop, the light squared bishop specifically, can go to any of these four squares, right? It could start anywhere. There's no restriction on where the bishop can start. So b1, d1, f1, h1. Okay. So just for this moment, let's put in our little sheet here, four. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. There are four ways that this light squared bishop can be placed. Okay. Well, let's look at the dark squared bishop. Is that the same idea? Of course it is. A1, C1, E1, G1. This dark squared bishop can be placed any one of these four squares. So, if you're not familiar with combinatorics or mathematics very much, let me update the sheet. How can we conclude how many possible ways the bishops can be placed? Well, if you don't know the answer, it's 16. And that's because 4 times 4 is 16. You might wonder, why 16? Why not 8? Well, remember, let's just look at this position. If the dark-colored bishop is on the corner, that means I could have this one. I'm going to just go to uh, the same color. So like, I'll pretend this is the first rank for a moment. You can have on the first square and the third square. Or sorry, the fourth square. First square and the F file. First and the H file. And this is just when your first bishop is on your first square. So that's already four right there. Now imagine the same configuration. Let me make a note here, colors. This same configuration, but now your bishop's here, like this. That's eight. And then like this, this would be 12. And then last one would be here, that's 16. Okay, so. There are 16 different ways with two bishops. That's not too hard, right? So let's just assume, let me clear out the board here. Let me just assume that we have these placed somewhere. I'll just put them, I don't know, anywhere. So we have a light squared bishop and a dark squared bishop, great. This one's a light square, this one's a dark square. Cool. We have now six squares to put the queen. So let's look at these six squares. So. How many places can I put the queen? Well, I just said six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go back to our sheet and update this. Six. Okay, great. Now, just like before, we're going to have to multiply these numbers because I can put the queen here or here or here. But that's only when the bishops are like this. If the bishops were like this, then I could... Well, not, it can't be like that. If the bishops were like this... Then it's the same principle. I put them here, 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 here. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to have to multiply these numbers. So now we have three things. Let's just put it like this, have it lined up. We have three things placed. Four ways I can put the bishop. Four ways I can put the other bishop. Six ways I can put the queen. Okay. Five squares left. Let me use a different color. Five squares left. Now I have two knights. Let's clear out the board. And let's talk about five squares. So I kind of just did it. I'll do it again, actually. I'll, I'll show the same position. It might help. So if I have the queen and the two bishops, let's start putting some knights down, like this. First. Second. I could have it be the first position and the third position. The first position and the fourth position. First and fifth. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here, like this, they become more distant, and then that's all the ones for this first position. Now, instead of starting my knight on the D file, if I start on the E file, it could be second, third, second, fourth, second, oops, second, and fifth. Right, do you see this pattern here? These are all the different ways. So far, we haven't gotten all of them yet. You can place the knights. Well, how could I possibly know how many ways to pick the knights? 
Well, you could do this in count, which is fine. Or, if you're familiar with math, you can say, hey, there's a, there's a number for this. There's a, a function for this. There's a combinatorics idea. It's called five choose two, because I'm trying to put two things in five spots. And five choose two comes out to 10. So what that means is there are 10 ways we can place the knights. Let me update that. Okay, 10 ways to place the knights. Great, that's not too bad. So we, right here, we already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So you can imagine the last three are just this, this, and then the knight would be here, and then the other one would go here, and then the last two would be when they're in a corner together, like that. Hopefully that's clear. I don't have a 10 by 10 chessboard, or else I'll be able to show you that. Okay, so let's clear everything out. We have everything placed now except the king and the rooks. So again, let's just place the bishops anywhere. I'll just put them, I don't know, I'll put them in this corner. Place the knights, put the queen somewhere too. Put the queen here. It doesn't matter. Maybe put the queen in the corner, why not? Knights, let's put the knights anywhere. Here and there. Okay. So remember, in chess 960, the king has to be between the rooks. Has to be, because you have to castle. You have to be able to castle. Okay. So how many ways can I do that? Well, in this case, there's only one way. I have to have the rooks on the side and the king in the middle. And this is actually the only way that works. So let's go to our sheet right here. One. So there's only one way that you can put the kings and the rooks after you do it this way. Okay, so let's just kind of see, really make just to make sure, double check everything. If I started with my bishops in the corners, like this, and I put my queen somewhere, pick a place, any place, we'll say this square. I place my knights down anywhere, where? Maybe here, and I don't know, there. There's only one place now my king can go. It has to go here, because it has to be between the two rooks, like this. And this is a valid position. Right? Why not? So, remember, from the beginning, the whole point was to multiply these numbers. So, let's go to my sheet. The total is just going to be, now excuse my typing for a moment here, this number, so 4 times 4 times 6 times 10. And then, of course, this times 1, which doesn't change anything. That's 960. That includes the normal position, by the way, the normal chess position, a standard position. But that's how you get 960. Kind of cool, right? Not many times have I seen it written out, so I figured I'd make a video about it. But that's it. That's the, it for this video. It's really fun. So if you enjoy math, maybe, and you enjoy chess, kind of get to see it happen like this. But that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like on YouTube. Thanks so much. Bye.